How to Write a National Honor Society Essay What is the National Honor Society? The National Honor Society is the nation's top body that recognizes outstanding high school students. This organization recognizes the students who have excelled in scholarships, service, leadership, and character. It also chooses exceptional students who excel in social services, school activities, volunteering, scholarships, and internships. If you want to become a member of the NHS, you need to write an essay. Several benefits come with being an NHS member, as we will discuss later, and that's why you need to make an application. The NHS body focuses on four pillars, service, character, scholarship, leadership, and academic achievements. When writing your essay, you should dwell on the four aspects and illustrate how you possess them. 1. Conduct in-depth research. You should understand the purpose of NHS and the essay topic you are writing about. Find out the organization's purpose, goals, and values and how they match your personality. Research the NHS's history, membership requirements, and community service projects to get a clear picture of what matches your interests as you learn their core values of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Relate them to your achievements. There is also no harm in checking other examples of NHS essays people have written to know what you should write. If you wish, you can master more writing techniques in our college application essay writing help, as they are similar to NHS essays. 2. Plan your essay. After gathering the NHS essay requirements, outline the essay. It should have an introduction, body, and conclusion. Under each section, list the key points you should discuss in the essay to impress the NHS appointment team. The introduction should grab your audience's attention and provide context for your essay. Then, the body should have supporting evidence and examples demonstrating how you align with NHS's core values. Finally, your conclusion should summarize the main points and have a strong closing statement. Our resourceful guide, How to Start a Captivating Scholarship Essay, can also assist you in planning the introduction. Check it out. 3. Narrate your personal story in writing. Your essay should be unique and show dedication to the NHS mission and purpose. The core values should form the main part of your essay, thus, brainstorm examples that demonstrate how you rhyme with their values. Apply particular examples to support your arguments. Your illustrations should show achievements, leadership experiences, and community service projects. Your achievements should include both academic and non-academic activities. Start with your academics and illustrate how you won great awards, grants, or scholarships. More details about these awards will present you as a hardworking and skilled person. Again, the non-academic area is also important for NHS application essay. Create a list of your hobbies, community, or volunteer activities that you have engaged in before. Then, choose the important ones and showcase your character traits and personality. If you feel stranded on narrating your story, order our services, and we will guide you on how to write a National Honor Society essay. 4. Edit and proofread. Once you have finished your first draft, revise your essay for clarity, coherence, and grammar. Ensure your essays meet the NHS requirements and illustrate your achievements to your best level. 5. Ask for proofreading help. Request your teacher, counselor, or mentor to proofread your essay before you submit it. Consider their suggestions and make any necessary revisions to improve the quality of your essay. What is the NHS essay format? The National Honor Society essay typically follows a standard format and follows Introduction 1. Start with an attention-grabbing statement or a hook that introduces your topic and interest in there. 2. Provide background information on NHS and why you want to join. 3. End the introduction with a clear thesis statement to summarize the points in your essay. Body 1. The body should have several paragraphs to provide evidence for your thesis statement, to each. Paragraph should expand on your academic, leadership, character, or service achievements, 3. 
Demonstrate how your achievements concerning the NHS body values. Conclusion 1. Summarize your key ideas in the body. 2. Make a final statement on what you want the team to think of you. It can be something thought-provoking that will push the officials to choose you. What are the requirements of the National Honor Society essay? When writing your NHS essay, stick to the following guidelines. 1. Don't plagiarize your content. 2. Describe how your achievements have positively impacted your society. For instance, being a leader, you can explain how you solved an issue in the community. 3. Add a personal story to explain you are ready to take up a leadership role. 4. Add great ethics and morals, impressive character traits, and participation in volunteer work programs that will add weight to your application. 5. Format your essay according to the NHS guidelines. Best tips for writing an impressive NHS essay in, observe the following tips when writing NHS essay. 1. Understand the NHS. It is essential to have a good understanding of the organization's goals, values, and requirements. Research the NHS's history, mission statement, and service projects to understand the organization's purpose. 2. Showcase, don't tell instead of simply stating that you possess qualities such as leadership, scholarship, service, and character. Give particular examples of how you have demonstrated these qualities in your academic and personal life. Use concrete details to illustrate your achievements, such as specific projects you've led or community service activities you've participated in. 3. Use a clear structure. Organize the essay into simple paragraphs in the three sections, introduction, body, and conclusion. Use transitional phrases to connect ideas and ensure your essay flows smoothly. 4. Be concise, provide specific examples, and ensure you are not being too wordy or off-topic. Present a clear and concise essay without any unnecessary information. 5. Edit and proofread. Take time to edit and proofread it. Cross-check your essay for spelling and grammar errors, and ensure it's well-structured and coherent. 6. Seek others' opinions. Ask your teacher, counsellor, or friends for their feedback on the essay. Consider their comments and make the necessary adjustments to submit a quality essay. 7. Be yourself. Be authentic to yourself in your essay. Don't try to write what you think the NHS wants to hear. Instead, focus on writing about your genuine accomplishments and experiences that have shaped you as a person. Which are the types of personal NHS essays? Academic Achievements Essay portrays academic achievements such as GPA, class rank, and academic rank that demonstrate your dedication to academic excellence. This essay demonstrates your ability to balance academic and other responsibilities. Leadership Essay focuses on leadership roles and demonstrates the ability to inspire and guide others. Again, you present the ability to serve others in society. Here are 10 examples of leadership experience that you can use in your essay. Character essay You should explain personal qualities and values like integrity, honesty, and service essay focuses on community service and volunteer skills. Ensure you demonstrate your dedication to serving others and making a positive impact. Combination It's a combination of academic achievements, leadership, character, and service essays. It gives a highlight of your strengths and dedication to the NHS. Which are the benefits of becoming an NHS member? An NHS member enjoys various benefits, so every student wants to be one. But remember, you have to present a very credible essay to pass the selection process. Your dedicated work will be rewarded with the following, a chance to get many opportunities that will brighten your future like studying abroad in prestigious schools, you get to build your social network of like-minded students, gives you the motivation to become better in your academics, the society assists in the college application process, you get a chance for financial aid opportunities, you learn to play a role in your community, and this makes you an all-rounded person by acquiring different values. Chance to participate in conferences like the Leadership Experience and Development, LEAD, for example, at Oklahoma University.
This membership opens up job and professional development opportunities. There are many benefits to joining the NHS Association as a student, and if you want to experience the good life, write a presentable NHS character essay.